In 2020, I manifested this exact trip on my vision board. I had to go to these places. So I've kept up different countries that I want to go to. So there's a picture of a country that I want to go to, Kenya. There's another one for Botswana, the Bushman person, Namibia, on the desert. Three years later, let's pack our bags and let's go to Namibia. Three years later i'm finally going to namibia i'm beyond excited i have an early flight because i wanted to have like most of my time to spend more time in the country as possible i'm flying with south african airways which i didn't know they exist because the last time i was in south african Airways was in 2019 and i thought they were in bankrupt but clearly they're coming back the airport is extremely empty i've never seen an airport so empty this is my first time flying very empty and also this is my first time where i'm flying only with my carry-on guys who am i i've fitted here clothes worthy for 10 days in this and then i have my gadgets in a backpack who am i <laughs> Please be reminded that passengers still need to comply with all health and safety protocols of the country of destination. Upon my arrival, I instantly noticed that in Namibia they do not use Bolt or Uber, apps that are mostly commonly used in most parts of Africa that I've traveled to. But then instead they have apps such as Lefa, Taxi In Driver and Taxi Connect, so be sure to download them. However, if you have not downloaded these apps, in the airport there are taxi shuttles and taxi cars that transport you to your hotel for roughly 300 in town in most places so the first place that i visited is the famous historical landmark of christ of church which is also known as the christ of peace which belongs to the german-speaking evangelical lutheran church it's in the center of Vindok and it's quite in a roundabout such as a famous area which has many attractive other activities and places to see and it was from 1907. You currently cannot go inside the church but you can take nice pictures and you know just say I was here. Across the street from the Church of Christ or the Church of Peace is the new Independence Memorial Museum, which was introduced in 2011 and the inauguration ceremony took in 2014. This museum and this landmark has gained so much popularity among tourists in the past few years and it features the picture and the statue of the Samnu Joma and as well it does have a restaurant in the fourth floor which has the best views of this entire city. So the museum on the fourth floor does have a very very beautiful restaurant called Nims. Nims open at 8, close at 9.30 so they have breakfast, they have dinner, they have lunch and all that shebang. And what makes it more beautiful than how it looks because the it's aesthetics of it is very beautiful but it's this beautiful views like tell me you have the church Christ, Christ church there, you have the parliamental garden, you have Havani Lesotho, I mean Avani Vinduk, you have it, like the whole city is sitting next to you and just the contrast of the mountains and the city isn't that so beautiful but one of the most the highlight of my trip i mean it's my first day here but it's that i don't drink beer very much but when i had a window i was just like wait window is also a capital city it's a capital city of namibia a country in the southern african part and i always told myself one day i'm gonna come here and try window in window and a million years later, 2023 February, here we are, sipping Vindok in Vindok. Mm. Drinking Vindok in Vindok. Oh, this is surreal. No, this is such a happy moment. Like, I'm just genuinely happy. Like, I'm just so happy. So, I'm currently at the Hilton in Sky Bar, which I wanted to come. And it's pretty beautiful and it's quite look at the views from the sky bar 
it's quite beautiful the other option was avani but i think avani is a oh here's avani actually oh okay sister <laughs> so here's avani but i feel like it's a little bit it's a bit it's not very high compared to this and it's also not it doesn't have more space i guess i don't know the wind is winding i wanted to fly my drone but i wouldn't because the wind is scaring me a little bit but It's so beautiful and I'm still having a window for the culture. It's so beautiful. Look at the sunset guys. The views from here are insane. Wow. morning so I'm currently working so I'm currently walking to the National Museum and I just can't stop seeing how clean Namibia is like if it's the one first impression of this place it's insanely clean like look at the streets and this is literally every everywhere impressive much impressive much Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. So what are you selling here? Twenty-five dollar lamb. Ten dollar bonfire. Oh. And this? Five dollar pancakes. Oh. And ten dollar chicken wings. Oh okay. Can I please have two chicken wings? Is it normal for people to start eating like meat this early? Yeah, it's normal. Most people do. Oh, so you don't have like breakfast? Mm. Oh, is this like breakfast? <laughs> no, we only do this. Oh, okay. They look nice. And I noticed many places sell wings. And rolls. So I really noticed in Namibia, meat is like a big thing. Because literally it's now 10. And she's telling me like people start eating meat as early as possible. Like people eat meat everywhere. Oh my god, this tastes so good. I'm currently sitting at the zoo park or parliamento gardens. Quite famous garden chilling spot. Open to the public for free. And as I'm having these wings, it just made me realize this is not normal. I feel like Namibia is very big with meat. Like they love their meat, they love their chicken. Like, cause it's like, it's too early now. I feel like to be selling meat. Cause that I means like, it's more like a lunch thing, but it looks like it's, it's quite a popular thing like they love their meat namibians love their meat and i'm here for it oh and they also have a very popular delicacy called kapana can't wait to try that i'll try that later and mm, this is nice oh. mm. how much it costs they write how much it cost and who did the painting which is beautiful but I kind of expected it to be bigger or to have more artwork but I'm also not like an art gallery person so I wouldn't know how intimate it should be so yeah at a 
place called Single Quarters where Single Quarters, so the Belka have a big market where they sell the famous Namibian delicacy Kapana so let's go and try some meat, let's go try some Kapana So personally I didn't really enjoy Kapana or just it's just not for me. I tried it two days in a row. I was there the day before but I didn't record a video so that's why I came back and I just didn't it just didn't work out for me. I just didn't like it and it made my stomach very upset the next day. However, apart from Kapana, they also do sell fresh meat that you can buy from the butchery around there. They also do sell vegetables and they just operate like basically another market. So you can have the meat alone with they have some spices that you put on top but also you can also they sell salsa which is i'm sure you know salsa like a salad that goes with it and yeah to conclude my first 72 hours here in vindok i must say this city is beautiful the people take their time slow pace slow internet but one of the biggest take is how clean neat this place is every street every second time i walk i just get blown away how clean and beautiful it is my name is jovenci k i sign out from window follow me for more